TV News at 6, streaming now. And welcome back. We continue our deep dive into the world of remote work. And for many Hoosiers who have moved their office to their homes in this pandemic, it can be a weird and sometimes lonely transition. One Hoosier native has spent his career working remotely. He has steps that you can take to make your virtual workspace work for you. I would consider myself a remote work native. I've never worked in a traditional office. For indie native Wes Wagner, the office is wherever he wants it to be. It's just where, it's where the world is going for a lot of uh, technology companies. The software consultant for startups was exposed to the world of remote work during his time in college at IU Bloomington. Uh, I realized I could just work remotely and take that career path. And so as soon as I graduated, I decided to do a little bit of traveling, um, went to Medellin, Colombia uh, for a couple months, fell in love with the place. He split his time between the Circle City and the city of Eternal Springs. But when the pandemic hit last year, Wagner, like many Hoosiers, found himself back in familiar territory with his family in Indy. When I moved back to Indy at the beginning of the pandemic, um, I really was lacking a community. Because in Colombia, he found a community of remote workers. And working from home and remote work are not the same thing. For me, remote work means being a part of a community with other remote workers. And so he joined the Speakeasy, a communal workspace for entrepreneurs and remote workers, a tip he has for others in his shoes. And now when we don't have that social life, when we don't have necessarily bumping into people to have career opportunities, we have to really intentionally find uh, those places and those online communities. To market his skills and make connections, Wagner's active on social media, connecting with folks in tech over Twitter and online forums. He tells me most of his clients are outside of the state, and technology allows workers to compete for good careers on a global scale while enjoying the benefits of living where you desire. Um, and it allows you to, to be very intentional about where you want to live, and, and you, know, you can choose a place where you have a high quality of life. And so I'm kind of getting the best of both worlds where my job and career can be all around the world, um, but my quality of life and my closest friends and family are right here in Indianapolis. And places like Indy may become a destination for more remote workers like Wagner. You know, Indianapolis is such a, a great place for remote work, get, being able to afford a home uh, while also not making any sacrifices in their career. That's a really special position for Indianapolis to be in. Working for you, Lauren Casey, WRTV. Well, Wagner also recommends if you are now remote and want to travel or try living somewhere else, take it slow. Maybe rent an Airbnb for a month and see how it goes before diving in full time. To connect with Wagner and the software services he offers, startups, Click on this story, WRTV.com, and tomorrow we will continue our look at the remote work trend. How a new startup helps remote workers relocate to an area that best suits their family's needs. Join us for that at 6 a.m.